teachers every day writing stories, coming up with ideas, and you know, their responsibilities. I really thought I could take 100 pictures in 100 days. In this video, I'll bring you through why I just couldn't complete this challenge and what my next big thing is. See, constantly editing, trying to come up with ideas for new videos, <sighs> trying to come up with a story every day, along with a million other responsibilities. I started this challenge with an open mind. Okay, I'm going to spend my free time editing the pictures like in the car and then once I get home, uh, start filming and post it at night. It was fun the first few days until it completely backfired on me. I got appointed as the sergeant of the cadet platoon. And I was practicing for a drama competition. And then actually winning it. And on top of that, I was practicing for an athletic meet. And then studying for my A levels. Even though the time management didn't make any sense, I started this challenge. Because I I wanted it to be my next comeback for photography, but soon it went down here. Okay, so let me give you the behind the scenes of how I record my videos. I'm connecting to this microphone. See myself from the camera. And then on top of that, I've got my script right. I realized that staying up all night every day was a bad idea. And that my productivity wasn't the best when I'm super tired. So I would come home every day and I, I just can't stay up. I've just just fall asleep wherever. If I sit down on a chair, I would just fall asleep. So I just sleep at like 8 o'clock and I would wake up at like 1.30 in the morning and work my ass off till like 6 o'clock. That was my life. But that just punched me right in the face. Like non-stop speaking for days, screaming, carrying and then speaking really loudly at drama practice. It was just too much on me. At one point, I was working on my stand desk and I just fell. My body couldn't take it anymore. I was spending hours doing the things that would just take me like 30 minutes to complete. I remember one day I just fell and I, I just stood up and I kept on working. And then minutes later I fell again and I stood up and and then black out. Like I couldn't see anything. I remember sitting down and I'm like, okay, I don't know what happened. Well, like in school, I would like every single class I would fall asleep. Like my teachers were super mad at me. They would wake me up and like the next minute I would be asleep. I was like dead most of the time. Like I had no energy, like, I didn't care about other people. I wasn't listening, paying attention to anyone. Since I was getting ready to perform in the drama, my voice began to drop like really bad. <sighs> Things got even harder when practice went till like 8 p.m. or like 12 a.m. All that I was super pressured to do all this work by myself. I had lost a lot of things in my life. I got quite distant from my best friends and my family. I'm really disappointed in myself that I couldn't be there for my friends when they needed me the most. I couldn't answer their calls. I'm really, I'm really sorry guys. I couldn't answer your calls or I couldn't reply to your text when you guys needed me the most. I'm sorry I couldn't just I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Like I was too caught up this in this weird world where I had lost everything around me. The things that really mattered. I'm sorry if I wasn't the son my parents deserved. Like they do so much for me. I couldn't just do something to and like there was nothing I could I did to just show them how grateful I am. Like there were weeks where I couldn't even talk to my sister. I did yeah. so much of work. I, I, was, I was just too caught up in everything to, to the point where some days I didn't even open my camera and take a picture. But I did want to end the project. But falling behind so many days, I had just lost all my motivation. Doing, saying all of this might be an excuse for losing my momentum, but it's just crazy couple of weeks. Okay. Now I see all the comments coming in. Ah, uh, this guy wants our attention. He just wants us to feel bad for him. Please, please. Please don't feel bad for me because I don't feel bad about myself. I don't feel bad about anything that happened actually because I feel great. Like none of this made me sad. I'm grateful for everything that happened. But like being a lead of such an amazing cadet platoon and being a part of such an amazing team of actors. Like looking back at these pictures, so many memories start rolling in. It's a lot of emotion. Like literally, we won the drama competition. One of my closest friends got best actor of the competition and I got 
the best actor of my team and all of this made me so happy even though i failed in one of my dream projects like i've been planning on this project for months like since january of this year to see it all come to an end like this it's sad but it's okay i didn't have enough like if this wasn't my number one priority and i'm sorry i i'm really sorry if i could inspire any of you guys to go out there take out your camera and take a picture the whole purpose of this was to inspire some young kid to go to their garden take out their camera and take a picture i'm sorry if i could inspire any of you guys to come for the I'm sorry I didn't give enough time to take a rest, to take a break, to have a snack. I'm sorry I couldn't be the guy who inspired you to do something big. I'm sorry, my, I'm sorry to myself that I give, didn't give myself to take a break. Sometimes I was working while even brushing my teeth. I pushed myself too much, making me completely burned out. I'm not making this video to tell you how my life sucks. Oh, check, you shouldn't work hard for your goals. As a matter of fact, you must work hard for your goals. But, 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 never hurt yourself in the process. What's the point of reaching the top, reaching to the top, if you are not living to enjoy it? Like, bro, that's sad as heck. I just don't want in that happen to you, because it almost happened to me. Care about the people who are in your life right now. Because, because you're capable of doing big, great things. But, you might lose some people in the process, and some people might start creeping into your life people who were never there for you but don't forget the people who were there for you in the beginning <sighs> do something today go to your parents and tell them how thankful you are i know it's hard but trust me you will feel so much better seriously you must work your ass off to achieve your goals but don't lose the people around you like boxes. so when we won the whole competition everyone was cheering but there was the cheer of my parents and my best friends cheering me on. Like, I couldn't be happier. Just make some time for your friends. At least once a week, call them and tell them how much you're grateful to have them in your life. Because I'm super grateful for my friends and my family. Like, one day if I get successful, they are the people who I can thank. They are the people who should be thanked. Now, this is not me saying I'm quitting or anything. This is me saying I'm ready to go all in. Failure is not the point where you give up. Failure is the point where you stand back up again and I will do anything and everything to achieve my goals. And all of this pushback means I'm ready and able to take on this challenge. But, 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 I have five rules. No staying up. I have to, I have to for well, at least five minutes every day. Work out every day. I can talk to my friends every other day. Work as much harder as possible. This was a really emotional video to make. So uh, thank you for watching till the end.